Weer een puntje, when you don't have a vacuum tainer and a bulldog. Now we're going to use a syringe to draw blood. Now what you need when you want to take blood with, um, without a vacuum tainer and bulldog, you need at least a 10 milliliter syringe and then a small needle. You can either take this one, like a blue one, a black one or a green one, depending on the size of the patient. From there on, it stays the same as with the normal um, bulldog and vacuum tainer. You will first identify your patient, make sure you have the correct patient, make sure you have the correct tubes with you where you want to put in the blood, um, make sure that you have your cotton wool and that you have your piece of plaster for afterwards to secure your plaster when you have taken his blood. Right, now again you will fasten your tourniquet and you will select your vein. So again you palpate the place where you want to take the vein, the blood and you decide which veins you're going to use. That one is a very nice one. There's also a very nice vein to use. After you've selected your vein, you loosen the tourniquet and now you're going to clean that area. Going to wash your hands. Again, heavy tainted alcohol. And you're going to put on gloves. I'm not going to put on gloves for this, but remember, you need to put on gloves when you want to do that. Right. So you take your cotton wool ball, and we have decided that we're going to use there. Clean it in a circling movement. Throw it inside your waste bin. Now you need to wait for this area to dry. While it is drying, then you put on your gloves. Right. The reason why we want to dry it, again, is it's alcohol based. And if you insert the needle now, it's going to sting. And it's going to be painful for the patient. Okay, so now you still need to stabilize your vein when you want to do this. Take your syringe, bevel up, facing upwards, and you insert it inside your vein. And then slowly pull back. Don't pull too hard because you don't want this blood to hemolyze at the end. So you take it out slowly. And then before taking out your needle you're going to loosen the tourniquet. Now you're going to take your piece of cotton wool Press down on it and take out your needle. Ask the patient to just press down on that side. Now what we can do is, there's two ways. You can either put on a new needle there by then discarding the first one in your waste bin and then inserting the needle inside the tube. If you do that, it will take the blood itself. The tube well, because it's got a vacuum, it will suck in the blood by itself at the correct speed for the blood to go inside the tube. If you have a lot of tubes and not that much blood, then you need to open the tubes and then remember always to tilt it and then afterwards you need to open your tube like this and then insert the blood in there. But now remember when you do this, don't, when you put it in, it must not be very, very fast. It must be slowly because you don't want to hemolyze the blood. So it must be a slowly movement and then again, afterwards, discard the needle inside your waste bin and close your tube. Make sure that it is securely closed so that it don't go open 
while you transport it to the lab. The other thing that you can also do when you have a needle and a, um, a syringe like that is also to recap it. In the same way that we did it just now um, with a vacutainer, when you open this, it's just open our syringe and our needle and then always discard your, your um, waste. Then if you oops, loosen your, now I've got my syringe on here. If you have a needle like this and you don't have a sharps bin with you, again, you need to recap. So what are you going to do? You put it on a stable surface, the cap, and you recap with one hand. So you just insert the needle inside the cap and now it is recapped. Now you can close it if you want to. And then you go with this needle and syringe just like that until you get to a sharps bin and discard of the whole um, syringe. Remember, it is recapping one hand. Only use one hand, you take your syringe and you just pick up your needle, the cap with your needle and there it is recapped. But this is only when you don't have a sharp spin with you. When you have your sharp spin with you, it is always throwing away your needle inside your sharp spin and that you do again by putting your needle inside that place until it stuck and then turning it anti-clockwise oh, until it is off and make sure it falls in and then you can just throw your syringe in as well. After drawing blood always make sure that the patient is not bleeding there anymore so before he leaves you need to make sure that there's no blood going down his arm because that sometimes happens and also make sure that there's no um, bruising around there because if there is bruising then you need to tell him that he, he must put on some ice or a hot pack or um, do something with his arm.